Hey guys, Juan here. Thanks for stopping by my channel and checking out this video. So normally I review tech, you know, technology, but there's another thing that I'm passionate about and that is shoes. And right here I've got the brand new Elijah Burl Pro van shoes. So we're going to unbox this bad boy, take a very good look at it. So that way you guys can see if this is um, a shoe that maybe you'd be interested in. So let's unbox it and let's take a good look at it. So let's take a pretty good look at this thing here. I thought that we'd lace these things, but they come unlaced, so that way you can lace it yourselves. But put this little shoehorn in there, plastic or cardboard shoehorn. This is what it looks like. It looks they give you an extra pair of shoelaces, which is nice. Uh, I don't know that I'm gonna use the white ones. I'm probably gonna stay with the black, but I like that they give me some options there. All right, so this is a pretty good look at it right here. It's got the black suede all the way around it. The uh, branding with the Vans name here. Inside here, it's got the Vans logo. They give you an extra pair of shoelaces, a white pair in case you wanna go with the white on white like that, but I think I'm gonna stay with the black shoelaces. I think that'll look cool. Um, it's got the brown gum colored sole down here at the bottom and it's a subtle so it's only just a line here so it's not real thick I kind of like that also um, it's got the rubber toe right here to help protect you in case you're a skateboarder or if you're just walking I myself am just going to use these as a casual uh, shoe to wear um, right there's the Vans logo off the wall but yeah these look like they're pretty nice shoes the Van Burl or Elijah Burl Pro. So the thing I like about these is right here, this is pretty stiff right here. So I don't know if you've ever owned any Van shoes before, but sometimes when you're putting your foot in there, it's hard to get this to come out. It's just, they like flap down, but this one here is pretty stiff. So that way it'll hold form and you can get your foot in there a lot easier. So I think that'll be uh, a nice little feature or difference than what I'm used to with their Vans shoes. Um, the support on there looks like it's got pretty good support. Um, I wouldn't go running in these things by any means, but uh, they're a great casual shoe and I think that's what they're meant to be. So yeah, I'll lace these bad boys up and um, see what they look like once I get them all laced up. Okay, so now that I got it all laced up, this is what it looks like with it all laced up and ready to put on your foot. So yeah, I think it's got a classy look to it. Pretty cool. And I'm always a big fan of black shoes. And one of the things I did notice with this right off the bat was the tongue on it is pretty thin, but it's not so thin that it'll slide underneath and become annoying. It's pretty stiff, but it's thin and it's not real bulky. So that's kind of a nice little feature. See how thin it is. All right, so if you are a skateboarder, one of the nice features here is that it's got an extra layer of suede right here so it's got this one and then this one here along with the rubber so if you're flip kicking or doing any kind of stunts it's going to take a while before you get any kind of worn holes or um, padding to go through there now I noticed that the van does have these in all different kinds of color schemes you know I seen that they had like a burgundy color um, they had a white but I opted for the black I think it'll stay uh, I'll, my shoes get kind of dirty and black doesn't show dirt as well. Now one of the main features on the shoe is the sole here. Evidently it's got a waffle cone design uh, sole here. That's the first time that Vance has done that and they did that here on the Elijah Burl Pro. 
has put on that sole just like that. Now one of the concerns might be of this shoe, shoe is that it might be heavy, but it's not. It's pretty light and the awesome thing about it is it's super flexible. Look at that. So it wouldn't take long to break this in. Now one of the other things I noticed about the sole here is that the heel is pretty deep. The uh, it goes down deep in there compared to the top portion of your shoe, which is really good for, especially for somebody like me who wears the heel right here first. This is where I always tend to wear out my shoe first is on that heel. So with it being deep like that, that means it's going to last a little bit longer. The other good thing about this sole is that it's got a pretty good grip on it. So it's not going to be real slippery. So yeah, it doesn't uh, lose any type of comfort. Uh, by having that so it's got a pretty good grip in case you're in a you're in a climate where it's wet or uh, maybe if you're wearing these to work and there's a greasy floor it does have a pretty good grip to it the other thing i noticed that makes this shoe quite different than a lot of shoes is that the padding in here is actually sewn into the shoe right there instead of just being one that can pull out so this can be a pro or a con if you wear like orthotics or something like that it might be hard to pull that out um, or, you know, if you're one that puts your shoe in there and the uh, pad slides off or comes out, um, it won't because it's stone or sewn in there and stitched inside there. So all around, this is a good looking shoe. I think it's going to be great for a lot of people. Uh, hopefully it's right for you if you're interested in it. Uh, hopefully this review video will give you a good um, look at it. And um, hopefully if you decide to get it, it works for you. So. So this is the review for the new Vans Elijah Burrell Pro. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, throw a thumbs up on this video. Be sure to subscribe. And I will see you guys back in the next one.